Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So we have called out the enemy commander and he has accepted our challenge. So we're going to move up. Hopefully this is, you know, not a trap. I'm sure it will be, but um, hopefully the enemy commander will, will honor our... Uh, um, our Bacal or whatever you want to call it, whatever that, that you know, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, not, uh, you know, lay a trap for us. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so we're going to move up on the enemy here. Uh, I have outfitted uh, my mech slightly different, differently now. You'll notice that uh, the Nova has now has, has Artemis and Hydra ammo. Um, so I pulled the Hydra, I'll, I'll show you as I go through, I pulled the Hydra ammo out. We got lots of Artemis, we got, we got, um, uh, a fair amount of, uh, well, a couple turns of Hydra shots. But I decided to put it on the, on the, uh, Nova, only because I think we're going to get better use out of it that way. Our Kit Fox, that Blade was running, which had the ER Large and the LRMs, is now dual ATM 6 and ER Medium build. Hoping this works out, I'm not sure what kind of firepower we're going to get with from this, but he is a faster unit, so I, I would rather use him out. in that regard. Um, and the MRM builds stayed the same. We pulled out the Artemis system out of this, because you can still use improved ammo without an Artemis system in this thing. So we pulled out the, uh, the Artemis out of this guy and threw it into the Nova, so we have more uh, clustering accuracy on the Nova. Onward. Then this guy didn't do like have any real changes. We pulled out the uh, small pulse clan pulse laser we had in here and replaced it with a bolt on ten or sorry a, a rocket fifteen pack or a rocket fifteen sorry. And the reason why I did that is I wanted to have a nice punchy hard hard hitting weapon for those times when we get close to an enemy mech and we just want to do a really hard knockout punch. Uh, we really didn't have that, so now we do. The um, Cougar has been switched up from our AC-10 build. Because this guy is so slow and he can't keep up with the frontline mechs, I've decided him to pair him, pair him up with the Nova and go for a long range build. So this thing's got a pair of LRM 15s on it with SAM and LK and Deadfire ammo. So this is where the SAM ammo is now. Um, and this will be our anti-aircraft vehicle, but it's also got LK ammo too, so we've got lots of turns of firing. Bolt on 10 of 10 just in case something gets close and an ER large for long range shooting. Move him up. And then our Griffin, I switched out the LRM 10 for a pair of LRM 5s. We ended up saving half a ton so I was able to get another half a ton of standard ammo in this thing. So we can, I don't have to worry about always like not firing the standard ammo or firing the LRM. I can fire it all the time now. And then everything else of course is just the vehicle so it stayed the same. So I think overall Copy that, Commander. It's probably a little better loadout wise. We'll, ha we'll just have to see how it goes. Moving out. But I feel more comfortable now with the loadout. I'm going to move the Svanta bit into scout here. Affirmative. So this is a heavy lure mission. It's a three skull. So the idea is that we're you know, going to take on the enemy leader who is supposed to be the uh, the heavy mech that's that we're supposed to be going after and it's obviously a trap right but that's the idea it's three skull against clans so i'm interested to see what kind of mechs we come up against here all right so i haven't encountered anybody we're going to push forward as fast as we can i think want to close on what's here I've got eyes on all right now we got eyes they're heading your way so they got one set of reinforcements uh it might be a couple of lances where are we looking here? Up on the hill here. Okay, Griffin 2N. Alright, we're going to push everybody forward. Um, question is, do I want to go up this side? With the close range guys, or do we want to push the main guy? Because if it is a heavy mech, I think we want to pull it down as quick as possible. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to move our moving to position. fast moving guys straight up the center here. I'm going. So we can engage the main, main heavy guy. Now I did put a... Um, let's get you into the trees. No sweat. On the, uh, the kit fox that Blade's running, there is a beagle probe on there as well. A beagle active probe. So hopefully we can get better sensors on... Oh, there's a Grendel. 
All right. Well, could have been could have been better, but we'll know. You never know. Let's get you in here. The on PPC. Uh, we might as well get you along the road as fast as we can. Get as close Location as we can. Confirmed. We can move the hunter up the hill here. Get those LRMs up that way, and then the spent of it. Let's see if we can get you into a position where you can't be shot. That's actually pretty good right there. And we can scout this. So we're looking... Okay, here. So we're up against six. So the Grendel at three skulls is supposed to be the heavy mech, but it's only 45 tons, so I don't know. What do we got here? A crab, a griffin, a Zora mortar. All right, well, this is not as tough as I thought it was going to be, the Viper. It's three skulls too, right? So it's like, maybe they'll get reinforcements? I don't know. Let's hope they get another set of reinforcements, and it's just more than one. It's more than these six guys, because we're going to, I think we're going to shred these guys pretty quick here. What's up, Bubba? It's probably the only shot you're going to get. Probably the only shot you are gonna get. Let's close this gap. What? The heck was that? Yes, Commander. Why couldn't I shoot? Position. What the heck was that? Why didn't I... Sh okay. Sure. So we ended up pulling the Artemis off of this guy, but I did put on the um, fire control system missile range. So we, right now, with the missile range and the sensor missile range, we've got an extra 25% range uh, for the uh, MRM-10s. Putting the range at over 600 meters. So they got really nice range now. Standing by. Full sprint, please. Now I considered pulling the PPC off the Griffin, but then I was like, you know, it's nice to have that really hard hitting weapon. Copy that. Because if it lands, it's 75 damage, and it's 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 nice to have that one big weapon. I mean, we got the ER large on the Cougar, but. You know, it's nice to have that, like, you know, if we can get that long-range, hard-hitting weapon hitting. And it does have a fire control system predator, so it has a bonus at lo uh, extreme, long, and medium ranges. I'm showing minor damage. Yeah, I was really hoping to get a heavy mech out of this. Oh, well, I can't have everything. Waiting for orders. All right, buddy. You'll notice, too, Blade has got his uh, Warlord ability up. We were able to pick that up. Oh, ATMs. Look at the chance Back to hit with those. Speed. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll just fire. I got a feeling this is probably going to make me feel better than running that Ultra 10. The Ultra 10 has been missing a fair bit. Even at 50% chance to hit her just under 50%. And... You know, at least with the ATMs, we'll be hitting with a few here or there. And as long as we're still in the kind of like, you know, high-end lights, you, medium range, or uh, medium mech um, kind of range of enemies, I think the, 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 the better buy is the ATMs. All right, let's see if we can get this guy here. Okay, ammo. Right, Commander. Okay, evasive is gone. Not that it matters. A lot of my Not pilots have the uh, evasion ignore. Um, fire control system, which are more, which fire. ignores two chevrons of evasion, which is nice. Those fire control systems are great at lower levels. Uh, let's. Uh, we haven't really done enough damage to this guy. Let's just hold on to this. I know it's got a 61% chance to hit, but it's not going to be a knockout shot, so there's no point. 
tag on. That's a really important. They're starting to put a fire li firing line up up there. Yes, Commander. It's all right by me though. Affirmative. Not going to save them. I am hoping we can find some more clan vehicles though, because I'd like the hunter's okay with the LRM twenty, but we do have a few parts of a few clan vehicles. I'd like to be able to finish one or two of them off. Damage is minor. I'd love to have a spent of it with like a streak six or something. Commander? Like the spent of it's okay. It's great for scouting. Let's go. Especially if you're not in the trees. <laughs> or in a jungle. Well, at least he's toasty. No love on that strike. That's all right, though. Standing by. That's all right. So a lot of my pilots get had uh, uh, skill points to spend. So most of them went on gunnery. Double time. Let's go. Stay in the trees here. Let's crank this up. Targeting for Nice. Looks like both streaks hit. Reporting critical hit. LBX ten crit, beautiful. Is he going first again, the Grendel? I guess he is. You lucky bastard. Not much you can do though, I mean like he could walk and fire, but he's like really hurting here. He'll probably end up jumping again, something stupid like that. He'll jump to get out of the fire. Oh, no, he's walking. Yep, that's the play that you should have done. I know I said it the last time I played the Night Guns, and I'm going to say it again. The a they've done a really great job with the AI. What's up, boss? They really have. I mean, you're never going to get the AI to be perfect, right? It just won't happen. But it's... I don't want to say pretty close to perfect, but it's, it's pretty good. It, it's pretty good. Compared to some other games I've played, the AI in this game is actually pretty good. Acknowledge. Ooh, we got seven of them, eh? Sorry, guys. I'm pressing the speed button to get through some of these. I should probably stop doing that. It's probably this is going to be a. Uh, and this one won't be a long episode, I don't think, so... I was doing that and when the episodes were taking a little longer, but... Let's just go after this guy. I think I hit something good. I might be able to get through to that LBX and uh, kill this guy and get through that and keep that LBX-10. If we can fry this side, which I think we probably can. Takes the LRM 50 strike, he's going down most likely. Although I might go after the Viper here. Kind of shocked him. There's such a weak, weak, um, for a three skull, such a weak, uh, opposition. Damage is light. Yeah, like very weak opposition. I mean, the last one was a two skull assassinate mission. But then again, you know. It was not assassinate, so it is... Heavy hits yeah, I saw that. We need to get on that griffin, I think. Alright, question is, do we go after the griffin or do we go after... Where is he? Ah, uh, let's see if we can shred this guy. See ya. See ya. Good to go. Yeah, it's nice running all Omnis. I, I, I much prefer it. The uh, refitting time is so much lower when you're running Omnimex. Like, I refit all these guys and it was like... It, plus fixing the the, uh, the cougar from the last episode, and it was like seven days only. It was really nothing in time. 
Let's get you here. On the move. Let's see what our chances on this Viper are. 50%. That's not bad. Griffin's a lot lower. Let's go after the Viper. I'm getting a big hit on this guy. We'll go. Tags on. No. AMS is too heavy. Got all 10 of them. I was really hoping for that PPC hit. Would have been really juicy, but unfortunately. It's an enemy crab! So standard crab loadout looks like a pair of larges and whatever else it has. What can I do for you? Moving out. Let's move forward. Okay, we're shooting over our griffin. Let's fire at this guy. Time to die. Yes. Put nice damage. Huh? Nice damage. So after the next couple of episodes, we should be pretty free to start exploring the other planets in the system. I mean, we are here for that the Star League cache, right? So now that the Magashi province has been pretty much neutralized, we're not here to conquer them. Like, that's the thing. We're not here as conquerors. Moving to position. Right, now that we've got our base set up that we can operate from, it's well defended, right? We can take on whoever else that decides to come after us down here. We can start exploring the other planets now. Commander. And go after that Star League cache. Now we know there's other um, other people looking Roger for the that. same thing, so we're gonna have to be very careful when we do go out there. That's twenty-three. Let's fire on this guy. Just because the mortar will splash on everybody else up there. Yeah, it's a lot of ones, but still, it's like at least it's like applying something. It's doing more damage overall than if I was doing anything else with it. Just be sorry to see this Cloudbuster go. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can soak up a couple of big hits, so... If it's up front, it's a nice little tanky thing to have. You did. All right, who do we got? Blade. Standing by. Every time I, <laughs> time I hear Blade, that's all I can think of is the New Order song. Uh, do we go after this guy? He's got ATMs or uh, AMS. I mean, 29, 42 in the side of the crab. He's got one large damage. So let's go after this guy. Engaging with target. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure Commander. about that. I'm not sure about that loadout. It doesn't seem punchy, but it's not bad. I mean, when we get close with the HE is when it's really going to shine. I think. Well, gets the crab. Engaging target. This is the PPC again. I don't know, man. Thought about dropping into an ER large to lower the heat and put some other weapons on it, but. It's kind of iffy. It's really the only big weapon we have right now. It might be better off. I mean, I don't know. The range is pretty good on the ER PPC. The ER large has got better range though, so... I mean, we could go with an ER large and then maybe put a couple more LRMs in there or something, but... Or one more LRM 5 or something. I don't know. You're investing a lot in hoping that that thing hits, you know? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. You keep racking up that instability, and uh, I'll make sure I knock your ass on the ground when you need to, when you need to be uh, having a seat. He looks a little tired. Commander, you look a little tired, buddy. Here we just work on knocking your ass on the ground, on huh? Way. These guys do have the, uh, the upper hill advantage here, so let's just pot shot this guy up. Fire. unstable? No, he's got a tag on, though. Who else goes before... Where's the Nova? Where 
right here. You're going on 18. Okay, we got the adder. I await your command. Before. So let's get through, let's get rid of this viper. We can definitely do that this turn, I think. So let's make him unstable. Uh, is this he? A, I wonder if that's a laser AMS. I wonder if that's why he's so overheated. Could be. Well, let's see if he can shoot these down. Have at it, buddy. Yeah, the clustering is way better now. I mean, that wasn't a good example, but they did all go to the one arm. Would have been better if it was a CT, but whatever. Whatever. And I do like the uh, like the d dual LRM uh, ER large in this oh, this guy here. Um, yeah, let's give it to this guy. He wants it. Affirmative. Yeah, he was begging for it. Gotcha. He was begging for it. Is this Zora a clan vehicle? I can't remember. Ow. Good thing that's not a uh, clan ER. Ready for orders. How are you doing? That was a side hit that he hit you on. So let's make sure. You got that side turned to them. Copy that. Griffin is three. Wow. Nineteen and twelve. Same on the crab. Let's go after the crab. You never know. You never know. Firing. Yeah, just the mortars. That's fine. Yeah, I wonder why Cloud Cobra is running. I guess these guys must be uh, rear line units. Freeborn. Whatever you want to call them. Now we do have a Palo... Uh, what the hell was that? Palom Palamos? Whatever it is. We do have some of the parts of this guy at home. I can't remember. I think it's got actually clan gear on it too. The one that we have. So that might be a replacement for the Hunter, we'll see. Depending on how much armor it has. It's almost not worth taking, like, fast vehicles with no armor. On the move. Full speed. Twenty-four, twenty-seven, ten. All right, looks like you get the, f looks like you get the shot. Yeah, LRM 15 and a bunch of light machine guns. I don't know if that would be worth switching out to 20. It is a clan LRM though. 167. That's actually pretty good armor. That might actually that might actually be worth switching out to 100 for. Because the LRMs, I th the L like the light machine guns, have more range, I think, than the. Uh, Roger, than Keeping the um, clan flamer or the flamer that we have on the uh, hunter. Ah, for Christ's sake! Negative damage. Repeat. You think? Negative damage. It's not negative damage. Ready for orders. Because he would have gotten armor back if it was negative damage. Get you up on here. You could say negative on the damage, I guess. We'll rocket this guy up. What do you got here? 20 internal structure, eh? Don't think the tandems will do enough damage unless they all hit, but let's just fire these. Engaging 
Yeah, we got really good consistency with the tags. I'm really, I'm really pleased with that. I'm your spaniel. Because normally in the past, my my ability to tag people has been severely uh, limited. And I always got frustrated using tags because they never seem to hit all that often. 11, 23. Which armor do you have? Not much. Mm, I think we go after the crab though. Take the shot. Ooh, that's nice. The laser hit the griffin. I'll take that. I'll take it and see it as a win. Okay, get up a little higher here. A little higher. That's probably a kill shot. If we get it, if it gets, well, I don't know, it's only three damage. Maybe not. Maybe we don't shoot that guy then. 21 in the mortar. That's pretty good in the crab. No, I think we go with the crab. Let's fire on the crab here. Crabby, crabby, crabby. That's a lot of torso and arm hits. Hand destroyed. Orders. Yep. I do have some orders. Move order received. Attack that giant enemy crab, please. So the beef is back. He's been away for a while, but he's back at, at recording again. Target I don't know if you guys watch... Uh, Mech Warrior Online videos. But I watch Bird Duel and I watch. Um, I used to watch the Beef when he was like that was a while back. Aye, aye. But now he's recording again, so some of his videos are okay. Some of them are eh. And Bird Duel was had stopped recording for a little while too. He kind of stopped recording for the same reason I did for a while there. It's like depression sets in because you've been home for so long and. You know, this whole COVID thing is causing problems for everybody. That's gonna hurt. Then, of course, it being winter, so it's sad syndrome s sinks in. Right? So, it just kind of doubles up on how bad everything is. But, I'm slowly snapping myself out of it, and Baradol's coming out of it. It's, it's, it's tough, you know? Breaking yourself out of depression. It's a real crutch. Waiting on you, Commander. And it's easy to say, oh, you just got to smile, you just got to do this, and you just got to do that. It's like, no, everything just is just so tedious to do. Roger that. Firing on if you've target. never had really bad depression, you just don't, you, you just don't know, right? When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. It's easy to say you should just do this or just do that, but it's it's, it's not it's not easy at all. But you just continue doing the things you like to do. Do things for yourself, you know. I'm receiving. You gotta learn to put yourself in fr like above other stuff, you know. Knowledge. Yeah, you still have responsibilities in life that you gotta follow through with. But you know, if you can put yourself above, can we kill this guy? Yeah, we could if we got a double hit on him. Let's go after the crab. You know, you gotta do things for yourself and put yourself above, you know, other things. That hit something good. But it's also even harder if you're like the uh, the sole or main breadwinner breadwinner of the family. You gotta make that money. It's really hard. I'm telling you, going to work some days is just like you feel like you're gonna die having to go into work. There's those times I wish that I could just be like a, uh, I could make money, you know, playing role-playing games or like doing computer games and things like that, but I'll never make as much money as I'm making, you know, going into work every day. It just won't happen. But I'm happy. I'm okay with that. I don't really care. I just enjoy doing this, you know? And sharing, I mean, I, I for so long I, I meant to have a YouTube channel. I don't know how many, 
how much games I played and I was just thinking, oh, I'm, I'm just really wasting my time playing these games. I should just post them and, and all that. So I started doing it and that's the whole reason why I got into to posting. And I really do enjoy it. Sometimes it's, it's tedious, right? But you just have to remember, it's like if you're just doing it for fun, Going full speed. you know, and it's not your job, then you just, you know, you do what you can, right? As long as you have fun doing it, so you just do what you can. Let's go after 33, eh? Let's go up to this guy here. Aye, aye. Oh, the streaks hit. That's nice. Excellent. Alright, let's hope. Commander? Hope we clear this up in the next two turns. I'm Get over here. Target the side of this griffin. Hmm. This guy's really the the threat with that PPC. Gonna go with the incendiary rockets as well. We might as well shoot everything on the one side. Target confirmed. Not that much damage. I'm out of SRM. Yeah. Yes, Commander. Not the best place to stand because we're going to be unstable, but I do want to get up here and take a shot at this guy. Yeah, we're running so hot with this mech, man. HE's out of range. That's fine. Warlord won't drop the heat. It just increases our chance to hit. We're going to use it, though. And uh, let's fire on this guy. Ooh, that's nice leg hits. Nice leg hits. Yes, Commander. Can you get to the side of him? You can. Let's get in the open, though. Give us a little bit better chance to hit. Not much, but a little bit. Take that. Really lousy chances to hit, but whatever. Target locked. That PPC looked like it hit. Crap. No joy. Yeah, no kidding. No joy, no kidding. Yikes. Yeah, you're you're out of here this turn, so just hold on. Commander. Just hold on. Let's get up here. Aye, aye. If we can get a half decent shot in this vehicle, I'm going to unload the, all, all the uh, rockets too. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're going to go with everything on this guy. Here it comes. Alright, soften him up pretty good. Tag, another, once again, uh, tags on. I think they increase the percentages for the tags to hit too, which is nice. Kind of gives you a good reason to use them, you know. For me, it's like it was like one extra ton. So, if the tag wasn't hitting consistently, it's almost better to carry a medium laser or, you know, to carry um, an extra ton of ammo or something. You know, that would probably be a kill shot. Let's fire on this guy. Fire it all. Okay, not bad. We might try and pull the legs from this guy. Now I know it's not a clan mech. Yes, Commander. But it might be nice to have a Griffin in the second li secondary lineups later on when we get into uh, like later parts of the series. I'm hoping to have like you know a map board with other units. So that's why I'm recording all of the uh, mech parts and stuff that we get. So we can just kind of see like how many mech parts we've gotten, how many vehicle parts we've gotten, put together certain units, say we've trained some people whether they're novice or not. We'll throw them on the map board and then if we have a big battle or whatever, what can I, I might just you? do some like, you know, like role playing dice rolls and stuff to determine, you know, if there's like fights going on, who's like, you know, right, who's commander. getting hit and killed and 
things like that and just have it a little bit more realistic. Well, not really realistic, but you know what I mean. Make it a little more interesting, I think. Alright, nice. There's more words. Okay, he bailed out. Perfect. Alright, Rose. Stand in by. Where are you? There you are. Let's get around. Can we get a good line of sight on this guy? We can't from up here. Not the best place to be. What's our chance to hit? Pretty darn low. Let's just fire at him. Target locked. Eh. I was hoping we would have a better chance to hit. We could try and target his legs, but... Waiting for order. Whatever. Let's hope you survive this battle. Again. We've been very lucky with not losing pilots and stuff. On it. Like, very, very lucky. Waiting for orders. All right, what do you think, bud? Um, gaining a little extra height here. All right, we're going to leave the ERs off. Probably the ATMs. The ATMs aren't bad. We got 15 turns of shooting. I mean, we only had, you know, 10 ultra sh turns of shooting if we were firing twice with the uh, ultra 10s, so... I don't know. I'm still. I'm not 100% convinced this is still the right build for this guy yet. Should we get this vent a bit, eh? Trying to get a piece of that front. I see. I live to serve. That's all right. That just gives us the ability to get up beside you. Where was that solid blue line? I'm sure I saw a solid blue here somewhere, or down here. I think we can get there by walking, can't we? Yeah. Just walk up there. Rolling. Gonna go with the solid blue as opposed to getting up the hill more, I think. Yeah, not that bad. Not that not that great, but I'm gonna try and burn this side, I think. Aye aye. Get up here. We got the baby griffin, you got the real griffin. Uh, yeah, sure. Affirmative. Man, a PPC looks like it's hitting every time, but it's not. It's kind of sucky. Standing by. Standing by. Position confirmed. Let's just shoot at this guy from the side. Eh. Let's drop some heat so we can get up the hill next turn. Engaging. All right, not bad. Five hits. Five out of nine ain't bad. What's our chances? Pretty good here. Let's try it. Let's go with the OP. Come on. You know do you want to. Here we go. No, we didn't get it. Well, maybe a little bit. Yeah, we got the we got part of the leg anyway. Part of the leg. I hear you. Some of them wanted to go there, some of them didn't. Sure, we got lots of we got lots of uh, resolve, uh -huh. so let's use it. All right, couple more hits. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Okay, who do we got left here? Order. Good to go. Let's work on that instability. Copy that. Ah, a little bit. Who's left? Okay, we got the Cloudbuster left. Svantivit's got to go, and that's it, I think. All right. Sure, bud, you do you. Yes, Commander. Back up over here. 
Yeah, this thing's terrible going through trees. I know it's a hovercraft, so it's like it's gonna do well anywhere but trees. Locking on. Okay, hopefully a couple leg hits here. Yeah, it looked like there was two points done to the leg. Scored a critical hit. Lower leg destroyed? Yes, Commander. 33%, huh? Let's just shoot at him. Acknowledge. Yeah. That's a miss. She's been having a hard time connecting lately, so that's why I just went for the shots. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? What's up, Doc? Oof, shooting right between our guys. That's a little better. Roger. A little better. Uh, what do we got here? 65? Yeah, let's go with the offensive push again. Not the best chances to hit. Come on, there we go. But we're gonna take it. Let's put the incendiary rockets on too, because why not? Acknowledge. Ooh, well that's not good. Didn't want that. Critical hit command. I'm out of SRM. At least we got the knockdown though. This guy's done now. Yeah, I'm shocked it was just good these uh low level idiots. I was really hoping that there'd be more guys. That uh, three skull. Well, let's try and take this leg. Come on, buddy. You want to bail out now. Let's shoot this thing. Because we all know how this LRM-50 boat would do against that Griffin's leg. Take the leg and blow the whole mech up, probably. Awaiting orders. Okay, now you don't even need to move. Low chances to hit, man. Let's just try and get that leg. Taking the shot. PPC hit, but I don't know where it hit though. I think that was on the, the other arm or the Reporting torso or something. Hit. I don't think we got the leg with that one. Oh, we did. Oh, we did. Nice. I think the the that uh, Promios, whatever it is, vehicle. What is this thing called again? Palemos. I think we've got Ready for orders. like one piece of that. But I don't think, um, let's do this. I don't think it's the same kind though. I don't think it's the uh, LRM-15 uh, laser version or the uh, LRM-15 light machine gun version. Which would mean if we do take, if we can get two that pieces from that now, one for the junkyard. it sure is. Waiting on you, Commander. If we can get two pieces from that now, maybe um, we can put one of those together. Oof. Let's go after this. Tell me what to shoot. Well, we got the opposite leg. Yeah, critical hit. Yeah, critical hit. Yes, Commander. Let's see if you can get that leg. Which has it got left? 13? That's it. Oh, he bailed. Never mind. There we go. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, so that didn't turn out too bad. I mean, we're not going to get that much out of this, but whatever. Good XP, though, for a three-skull mission for these guys. And I don't think we took any real significant damage at all. Thank goodness we don't have to repair like the uh, these guys. All right, Grendel parts, two Griffin parts, Polymos, one sixty-eight, one twenty, one twenty-one. I'm very tempted to take these two parts. 
uh, hmm, ER medium, LBX10, LBX5, 6 tons and 10 tons, respectively. Another LRM15. We got a bunch of these still. Valiant SRM6 clan, armor, not a lot down here. 275 core, which we can't use anyway. Improved gunnery. We've got one of these that we're not even using. Feral Guardian, uh, Clan Guardian ECM, which we could use. Heavy Feral. Um, that actually might be worth taking, the Heavy Feral. Sam Ammo. LBX Slug. Cluster. We got one ton of cluster already. And. Okay. I think I'm going to grab the Heavy Pharaoh because we can use that on mechs with like that are just all energy builds. And then I think I'm going to take this, strangely enough, until we can get heavier clan mechs. I think I'm just going to go with that. The Viper might not be bad. It's like a 40 ton. We don't have any parts for this, so... I think I want to go this route because then we can put a vehicle together. All right, Grendel and Griffin parts. Clan AMS, that's not bad. We've got two of them already, though. Large laser can go. Four light machine guns we'll keep. Should be. No, we're not going to use light. We're not going to use machine guns. That can go. Uh, we've got two of these. Well, one of them already. We can get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. AMS ammo, we've got four. We can get rid of that. And the Sam ammo, I think I'll hold on to it. We have one ton, but I think I'd rather have a couple in stock. So, All right, so that last fight was a little bit pitiful. So I'm going to run one more. We're going to say that, that, that the unit that we just faced was uh, used as a delaying action, allowing the uh, main commanders of this uh, clan force down here to uh, get away. Um, so we have just blew through them. We're going to go ahead and take on the main guys here before they can slip away. Um, and they might cause havoc with us later on so we're going to try and kill them here here and now get rid of them on the way so we're just going to move and clear them out now this is a two and a half skull battle mission against the clans so uh we'll see how it goes now we did actually went ahead and put together that uh, palamos video video uh vehicle um and uh i swapped it out for the svant of it now, the one that we chose was the SRM-6 LM uh, light machine gun version with the vehicle flamer. So, I mean, we picked up the part, the uh, LRM part. So we decided to go with the double SRM-6 and the light machine gun version that we already had. Uh, which I think is a little better because I want to use this guy to support our light mechs up here in the front. The fast guys. Uh, now, it's not as fast as the Svantivit. Svantivit was a 10-15. This is a 6-9 movement. Stormcrow, we got we we have one Stormcrow part. Okay, beautiful. So I'm hoping that this is gonna actually be a nice nice What's mission up, that's gonna net us some good uh, some good gear. We're gonna move I'm in and position way. ourselves a little bit here before until we really find out what we're up against. So we're gonna stay in cover, at least direct fire cover for now. Waiting for orders. Get you a little closer in striking range. Kind of liking this guy a little bit more than the uh, the mongoose. The extra armor is definitely nice. The extra weapon is definitely nice. It runs hotter than the mongoose did, but uh, I'm kind of liking it. And I'm liking the MRM build on this guy too, which I'll, I'll probably end up swapping out if we can find like more ATMs or something. But for now, the MRMs are just fine. Commander. The thing I like about them is, yes, they're, they're inaccurate, but they're nice and light, you know? Okay, you're part of the front line. Don't worry about shooting. Confirmed. Just get up here. Okay, so that's our front line group. Press this guy here. Palemos will be up there. Is that a, is that a griffin? Somebody's got ATMs. At least you shot one of them down. Here's Adder. 
Bandit, Pegasus 2C, Griffin 2C. This is the real, that's the guy I really want, the Stormcrow. It's like 50, what is 55 tons, right? So. Um. Let's just get back here. I'm not shooting at all this first turn. Sentinel. I know we've got Sentinel parts. That's like a 40 tonner, I think. 40, 45 tonner, I think. I think I picked some up off Commander? on the off-camera missions that I've done. Okay, Cloudbuster can move Both up for sure. That's the next thing I want to replace. Well, I do we want to replace the Hunter too, but I want to find a better direct fire Taking vehicle than the Cloudbuster. Cloudbuster is not bad, but we can we can do better, you know. On my way. Double All right, time. now who fired? Which guy was it now? Have you fired? No, wait, this guy fired already, right? Yeah, twelve percent. We'll take it. Yeah, well. This is going to be a brawl. We're just going to meet head to head here. Oh, what are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? He had LRMs last time I faced him. I don't know what he's running this time. Just get up here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Not worried about shooting just yet. It's gonna be a, this is gonna be a nasty fucking brawl, so. Ready for orders. Uh you should have some good speed. Yep, let's we'll get up to here. Calling ass. This is a wheeled vehicle too, so it should do a little bit better on a lot of the other trains that the hovercraft can't, like like in the in the trees and stuff. It should do a little bit better, I think. All right, what are you guys up to? They've got at least ten. We've got nine, so it's pretty even. Yeah, they're doing the clan. We got to they're going to shoot at range as much as they can, I think. So we're going to have to get in and get some good good lines of sight on these guys. So we got a bit of time. Like we got at least another turn here, a turn and a half. Maybe two like like two turns before we can get good to go. Good angles on these guys. I'm not that worried about it right now. All right, we're getting some blips showing up here. You're out of range with just about everything. All right, done. Done. I got extended range ammo, but I just don't have the space to put it in there. Standing by. Okay, get the trees. We got lots of LRM ammo with you, so we might as well use it. Where are we gonna shoot, though? Let's just kind of cycle through. So 9%. 5 in the Bandit. 25 in the Pegasus, huh? Well, we might want to soften him up. 9. 3. 9. Well, let's go with the better chance to hit. Alright, 4 hits. That's nice. It's 40%. That's pretty good. Pretty good. He vanished. Where did he go? I will be done. Yeah, we got one more turn after this one before we can crest and uh, just smash somebody. Yeah, they're going to make us come for them. Yes, Commander. I think we all need to get up here. At least they haven't shot any artillery at me, at me which is, makes me feel good about <laughs> moving guys in a group like this. There's the Adder. Adder E. I don't think he's the missile, missile variation. 
now. What's the chance on this guy? Ah, uh, pretty darn low. Don't think it's going to be better on anybody else. Eh. Eh. Don't think we need to do anything. Your puny Burn attack. through your ammo. Feel free. Oh, we got another guy back here. Is this another storm crow? Sure is. I hear you. I think I think it's the A version that we have too. Going turbo. Let's not worry about that. I'm pretty sure we have the storm crow A, which is the the uh, one that has the missile launcher on it, or the sorry the LRM. Because that was the guy that was shooting at us from the hill on that uh, battle that we almost lost horribly. God, that was a tough fight. That was a really tough fight, that one. Alright, Rosie five. Rose. Rosie the Rose. Aye. That's a hard, that's a tough character to pick. There's a good, there's a good trivia question for you. What film was Rosie the Rose in? I'll even give you a hint. He was supposed to be a hockey player, or used to be a hockey player in that film. Rosie the Rose. It'll be easier for a Canadian to, uh, to, uh, get that question. Um... Marlin. It was nice to see though, like several episodes back when I was when I mentioned the uh, Dave's not here that actually some people knew who th what that was, the Chichen Chong. Up in smoke. Yeah. What's up, boss? Alright, let's get you up here too. On it. If the SRM-6 is working shortly. If anything, you got the armor to harass too, like for a few turns, you know? So this is another, there's two adders back here. Okay, there's two, 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 oh, what else we got here? Clint, okay. All right, we're starting to see everybody. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We saw the Griffin, so there's two that we're missing. Two that we're missing, okay. Ready to get it on. Are you? Acknowledge. Let's see if we can get a quick kill up here. Well, yeah, the Sentinel, forgot about him. That's the Griffin. Is this the. He's got. Oh, he's got SRM2 streaks and an ER large. That's an inter that's interesting loadout. Okay, we're on HE on this. Let's go with the incendiary rockets, too. This guy's got a lot of armor. Hopefully we can kill this guy like this turn. I want to go with accuracy. Let's go with accuracy early. Come on. This guy. And firing. Okay, not bad. I'm out of SRM. I was going to say, why am I do only doing six with the ATMs? And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I put the rockets on. Forgot I put the rockets on. Yes, Commander. Okay, it's got up here. Oh, we got a guy on the on the uh, right over here. I almost said on the left. Another, another Sentinel. Okay, we're going to get some good parts out of this. I'm not that afraid now of just trashing these guys. Let's go with the incendiaries. And uh, just fire on this guy. Confirm. If he sees a miss, damn it. We really need that to soften this guy up. I want first blood on this one. This guy looks so goofy. Reminds me of that, um... The... Uh, I can't remember the, the robot's name from The Mandalorian. From back, from, from that far away, that's what it kind of looks like, reminds me of. The, uh, 
the bounty hunter droid. Looks a little bit like that. Okay. No, let's go slingshot. Got you want done? I do, but just not yet. Why can't you... Is it a height thing? Like, the griffin could shoot from there. It's gotta be a height thing. Going full throttle. That's kinda cool. Yeah, I guess because he's shorter. Ah, oh, you're shooting right by this guy, though. I want to go with all the rockets, but I don't think it's a smart move. Let's just go this route. Okay, that hurt. Yeah, see, we got our own guy. How much, though? One hit. Two hits. Damn it. Trying to flank us, that bastard. Was that a 15 or a 20? It wasn't counting. Get into here. I think we need to steamroll the right side here. I'm gonna hammer this guy. Hopefully do some damage to him. Alright, a little bit. That's fine. Better than nothing. We might want to st I don't know. We st now that those guys are rotated to the right, we might want to go left and kill that storm crow and then come back right again. Like, this guy's kind of st stuck out by himself. We could rotate back this way, kill him, and then come back and face these guys again. Commander? That's a possibility. Wait, is that trees there? It is. It's getting the trees. Right a little down. safer. A little safer in the trees. It's got a nice hard MRM hitting this. We're gonna put the bolt on incendiaries. I want to kill this guy fast if I can. Still going. I'm out of SRMs. I want this bandit hovercraft, man. If we can get this thing. What can I do for you? It'll replace the hunter instantly. I, I I'll just that's what I'll, exactly what I'll do with it. I'll just swap it out for the hunter. Probably not anywhere near as fast, but definitely the armor on this thing is like phenomenal, right? It's definitely super survival with an ATM, uh -huh. for sure. I think we do have a part of a bandit as well in storage. I mean, obviously we're going to be going for mech parts, but that would be a nice little upgrade as well right away. Like I think I'd take, out of all this I'd take the two, if I had, I got three choices, so two storm crow parts and one of the parts from that. So that'll get us a storm crow and I don't know how many bandit parts we have, but at least it'll get us a close to a bandit. And at least if we've got one of these parts, that means we can put one of them together. Orders. When we get an opportunity. Okay, let's get into here. See if this thing was a smart choice. And we've only got a hundred rounds, so let's just leave this on for the light machine gun. Wow, it's such a low number of rounds for the light machine gun, eh? Oh, we've got Inferno as well. <gasps> That's nice. Yeah, alright. Sure. We still have the Hunter and the Cloudbuster. Both of them are sorely out of position, but we're going to move you... Ooh. We're going to get a shot off in the uh, Stormcrow, I think. Maybe we can scare him back a bit. Okay, one hit. That was a lot... Of That's a pretty heavy fucking loadout. This guy is 55 tons, right? 110. Yeah, like... That's a 55 tonner. 
That's a pretty damn good loadout. Four medium pulses, two SRM six streaks, and an LRM twenty. Are you kidding me? Order. Can't have a can't have a tremendous amount of uh, ammo though for it. Let's get into here. Affirmative. Because if we need to wheel left, I want you to be able to do that. Firing. Wow, with everybody shooting on this bandit, we still couldn't kill it. If the PPC had landed, I think it would have been a different story, but now he's going to drive away and we won't see him again. He'll drive either here or here and fire off his ATMs at one of these guys in the front. Probably this guy here. That's my guess. See how accurate I am. Come on, buddy. Alright, a little close to where I said. Not quite, but... And he's not firing at the hunter. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, now we're going to have to wheel to the left. Aye, aye. Get in the trees here because that guy's got a heavy punch. He goes on 14 though, so I mean, we've got advantage on this guy. Switch back to standard ammo. Yes, the PPC hit. Good. Tags on. We don't have to worry about uh, not getting enough pieces from this guy because there's two of these guys in play. Ouch. That's bad. That shot went internal. I saw that. That Clint could be a wild card. Good thing they're relatively easy to kill. I don't know what the fuck these sentinels are doing running around like that, but whatever. Okay. Minimal damage on that. So the, it's the ATM matter. Okay. Um. Yes, Commander. As much as I want you to walk, I think you need to run this. Going full throttle. Thanks. We got to get on this guy, like white on rice here. Stay with the HE, firing. Okay, good damage. Is he unstable? I don't think he's unstable yet. Yes, Commander. How fast can you wheel? You become open target though here. Gosh, it's too many too many guys shooting at you. I think we need to go here though. I am the wind. Yeah, just don't break wind. Especially if I'm behind you. Alright, let's get on this guy. Hit him with everything, please. Okay, he's lost evasive now. Most of us go before him. It's just our vehicles that don't. So he's got either an Ultra 5 or an Ultra 2. I don't think that's a 10. I'm pretty sure it's not a 10. Aye, aye. Once again, not the best place to be, but once again, the only place we have to be. We've got to get on this guy now and pull him down. So I'm going to I'm gonna throw up everything and we're going to try and burn this guy. Firing a full power. Scored a critical hit. Okay, happy with that. I'm out of short range missiles. That's all right. We good. We good. That puts him in the medium range black bracket here with this LRMs. And we have Artemis and Hydra. I'm just going to go Artemis. Well, Hydra would probably kill him. Let's just go this route. That's the right side to cluster on. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, we got first blood. He's, he stuck his nose out. We had to cut it off. Yeah, 
Yeah, streak two hit. Damage is minor, Commander. We got good armor, so we ain't afraid. Well, relatively good armor. I'm here. All right, Rose of the Rose. See if we can get a shot Get's off out. in this vehicle. It's going to be a side shot, but maybe we can hit the front. We've done enough damage, like splash damage to this thing. Oh, it's this side that's damaged heavily. All right, we, we, well, we might get him. Roger. I don't know where that hit. Probably the back. Or the front. Who knows? Oh, we got through the side. That was where it was. All right. We got the hunter still to come too. And this guy. He's going on 14, right? Comes out of Storm Crow, the LRM 20. God, that hunter is like a friggin' missile magnet. Not exactly sure why that is. Yes, Commander. We got the speed. We got the armor. So we might as well go in and kill that vehicle. See if we can get a kill on this guy. Fire it all. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm liking this guy better than this Vantavid. I think it's just, it's going to produce more results for us. Not a heavy puncher, but I think it'll produce a lot more results for us. Okay, we can't do that. That's just stupid. Um, let's just put you here for now. Swivel around a bit. And then... I'm going to respond to this Clint. Because he damaged us last turn. Just give him a little bit of a response. Let him know that we know he's there now. Now we got to figure out what our next target's going to be. Oh, somebody's sticking his nose out. Why they keep shooting for the hunter, I don't know, but... Feel free. Feel free. Roll to that. Let's give it to the Clint. Copy that. All right, couple hits. Okay, now. I think this adder might be the another might be the next uh awaiting orders. The next fly in the trap here. We want to go up this hill. See the thing is if I go up the hill I get better chances to hit, but they can all shoot at me. I think that's a mistake. That's pretty good chances to hit. I think we have to take it. Get our stability back by walking, but we're going to take these chances. Hopefully we get the tag on. Copy that. PPC missed again. Well, she was doing well when she first jumped into that Griffin. Now that she's got her gunnery up, it's, <laughs> she's doing worse. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but whatever. Yeah, you back up. You just walk away, punk. You just walk away. All right. Orders. Let's get. I'm here. Ready for orders. You off of there for now. Step in front of the Griffin. Griffin's already fired, so not to worry about him shooting in you, shooting you in the back. And I'm gonna go with everything because once again we want to try and pull this guy down as fast as possible. First. Okay, tags on. A little bit of armor stripping. Orders. Okay, you're going here. Moving to position. Then we'll have the next guy step in front of you to fire. Lost on okay. All right, blade. Commander. 
Get right there. Good thing they don't have artillery. That's all I got to say. This is really good chances to hit using the HE again. Nice. It's lost evasive now. I don't mind putting you up here. You got more armor than everybody else, so... You should be able to survive a direct hit from somebody. Let's go after this guy. Uh, let's hang on to the tandems. I think the rest of this should be able to handle this guy, no problem. Yep. Take back what I said before about the LRMs not having enough punch. I think it's just a matter of having the Artemis ammo. The, the increased chance to hit is just way better. And the clustering. The clustering... Oh, that guy's got a Gauss rifle. The clustering makes all the difference too, right? Having the Artemis uh, fire control system with a plus nine to clustering makes a really big difference. Okay, where are you going? You're running. Are you running or are you just tactically retreating? Um, what can mm. I do for you? Let's get into here. Less guys that have a direct line of sight on me, the better. That's pretty darn good in that griffin. Although we want this adder. Sixty-five across the board, pretty much. Huh. Let's shoot on the griffin. We'll soften him up. Right, commander. Nice. I haven't chosen my next target yet. I think it's going to be this adder, but I'm not 100% sure. Depending on where the storm crow goes. Let's see where he's off to. Yeah, he's not quite... Well, I mean, he is in strike range. We could sprint up to here. Create a firing line and go after him. But then it opens up our side, like our side to attack from those guys. Good to go. Um... Let's test it. Let's just let's do this. Acknowledged. Let's test it out. And see if they shoot out to this guy. Maybe we can force the storm crow to fall back, like fall back a little bit here. Wow. Let's go after the Pegasus. Better chance to hit. Good damage with Inferno, we'll take that. Oh, I forgot to swap it out when I was attacking the mechs, but that's fine. It's nice to know we have a couple rounds of a couple hundred rounds of ammo. Gives us about 16 turns of firing. Ooh, he's got an ultra five. Okay. Showing minor damage. Yeah, I don't want him I'm shooting at you with an ultra five though. Get up here. That guy's got a goss over there. Let's not let him shoot at us. I'm thinking the sentinels need to come down next. Copy that, Commander. If this storm crow doesn't give us an opportunity, we may need to push the sentinels if we can. I missed. I know they're buried in there with the Clint and the uh, the Griffin, but we may have to kind of go after those guys. Shit. No. Clint's given himself to us, so we might as well take it. Not much armor left in that location. Yeah, I know. He's 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 Damage given himself. Minor, We're gonna rotate the hunter to the right. Order. Ooh, I was really hoping I could get a clean shot on that uh I can from up here. Well, that's not bad. Good to go. I want a shot in the Clint. Oh, 
But I also want to let these guys know that I, I can come around the right side whenever I want to. Okay, he's hot too. I mean, we could try and burn him. Receiving you. This opens us up to that Gauss rifle, but I think he's far enough away. Don't have to worry about it. Could be wrong. Find out in a minute. Um, no, I think we need to go with HE on this guy. Fire. Nicely done. So he's not a threat anymore. Solid connection on that That's one. where his AC was, so he's not a target now. Standing by. I think if we can work on this adder and kill him fast. Position that would probably be a better of the two things to do. Although, you know what? Well, let's just shoot him. It's going to put us over. Let's leave one medium off. Taking the shot. Tags on. Okay, this guy's, this guy's a free-for-all now. We're going to try and kill him. If we can kill the adder, that leaves the storm crow out in the open to die. Okay, you want after the hunter. Damage is light. Which is good. I'm your spaniel. There's the adder. Onward. Okay, getting on him. And fire it all. Right. Okay, the heavy the heavy laser here, that's nice. Good damage on this guy. I think we can take the adder down this turn. As soon as the Nova's up again. Ah, fuck me. They're hitting with their big ones. It's really sucking out. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Yeah, I know. Aye, aye. Let's get around here. Let's give them the Griffin to shoot at. He's got more armor. I'm surprised they're not shooting at the Nova, though. Roger that. Oh, that PPC missed. Big chance to hit and it missed. Damn it. Fuck, he hit too. Armor's getting stripped off. Is he a fire maneuver or is he just going to stand there? Okay, he is just going to stand there. Where are you moving? You moving in? You are to go after the hunter. That's kind of the wackiest thing I've ever seen. The adder's dying because there's all these mechs here and you decide to go after the hunter. Well, I think no matter where I go, these guys are going to be able to shoot at me. So let's get up here. And we've got to get on this guy. We might get lucky with the tandem and blow through it and kill his, uh, his ammo, but I doubt it. We won't kill him by killing the ammo, but... No. But I might at least strip his ammo off him, you know? So he can't shoot at us. Yeah, you run away. God, that Clint is so ridiculous looking with those big ears on the side of its head. At least they, li they look like ears. Oh. Thanks for the free thanks for the free kill, buddy. Yes, Commander. Good to go. La la. See ya. Mech destroyed. You got no one to blame but yourself. <laughs> you got no one to blame but yourself. Alright, hopefully we've got enough. We got the cougar left. We've got the storm. We got the uh cloud buster. And the um fuck. I'm losing weapons, Commander. Yeah, I saw that. Waiting for orders. 
You know, I questioned the shooting at that sentinel. I should have killed the adder. Ten four. I should have just killed the adder. Receiving you. But hindsight is always twenty twenty, isn't it? All right, let's get into here. Affirmative. All right, hopefully this will do some good damage. That's actually pretty good chances to hit. Let's switch these around to standard ammo. Nice. Take that. We still got the cougar. We can shoot it. We can have to shoot at him. We're gonna pull the cougar back, though. This cougar, man, it's like it's like good to go. been a curse for a while now. He just other mechs just love to target it for some reason. We're still over large though, so that's all right. I don't have firing and maneuvering, so I can't shoot him back up. I mean, I could just go in the fire and do that. Moving to position. I mean, it's not the best move. Puts us over in heat, kind of. Fire it all. There you go. A little payback. Enemy down. Uh, my heat getting pretty high. Yeah, you're right. It's a good thing the fire disappeared off that that uh, that tile. Waiting for orders. This guy's giving himself to us, so let's just take it. Let's just take it. Full speed, no target. No, we got a target. Cause fuck this guy right here. Stay under and heat. Locked on. Ooh. That's a kill. Don't know what the hell happened there. I know it was an ammo explosion. But it was probably all of his ammo that went off. So he's pretty much fucking dead. It's supposed to contain it, but I don't know. Okay. Took a hard hit there. Now we have to decide who we're going after. These two sentinels. This guy back here. This guy's a pain in my ass. Ready for orders. Let's shoot this other Double sentinel. Time. Let's go. We're gonna get our flank and spank on now. Uh, yeah, we want to put all, put it all on. His ballistic is jammed. Roger. It's in the other arm too. I thought it was in this side, but it's on the other side. Okay, tags on him. At least it's quiet. Although the uh, the Gauss rifle can't jam, so he's gonna be firing continuously. I mean, there's a small possibility it could jam, but he's not moving, so... There's gonna be no recoil issues. Wait, was that him? No, that wasn't him, that was the other, that was the other guy. That was the jammed guy. Alright, let's get on this guy. Now this gives us, what? Better clustering. Minus one recoil, minus jam chance. Oh, it's not better clustering. All right, never mind. I'll just shoot him. Just shoot him. Got the wrong side, but that's fine. Whatever works. Yeah, you better fucking run. Fuck, he hit me too. I think I'm in the trees. I think I'm in the trees. Waiting for orders. What's right, up, Commander. punk? What's up, punk? Right, Commander. Out of LK. LRM, Commander. Standing by. You may just have to retreat. Oh, where's the blue line on the? There we go. 
We'll go. Might be able to kill this vehicle. That's a really good chances to hit. Switch to incendiary. He's got pretty good armor though, so if we get a side shot on him. Engaging target. Not bad. That's gonna hurt. You got that right. Yes, Commander. Let's finish Confirm. that vehicle up. Forty-seven. What do you have on you? The LRM, right? No, guns off the field. We're down to three now. Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. Means he doesn't get to shoot this turn. Awaiting orders. Let's get you around to here. Goss guy can't see you. Which is nice. Target the guy with the jammed auto cannon. If we can keep him running around, hopefully that, that thing will stay jammed. Like it has for me in the past. Okay, Cloudbuster up here. Same thing, go after Sentinel. Affirmative. Yeah, we gotta get a, another vehicle for this. Hopefully we get hopefully we the, the getting that bandit piece will uh, allow us to complete that mech. Or the, that vehicle that is. I'm loving this thing too. I like this thing so much better than the cement of it because I don't feel like it's gonna get killed when I move it in. You can use it to apply pressure too, like like I'm doing right now. It's just applying a little pressure on that sentinel, letting him know that we can get to him when we want to. So we got a guy on 24, they got two on 24. And then Goss Rifle Ass on 22. Okay. Damage minimal. I'm ready. I like this spot here model. because I'm going to shoot at the Sentinel, but hopefully I can get some splash damage on this guy as well if I miss. On Ooh, there's the kill. Down. That guy's ultra will never fire again. Unless, of course, we take it and use it. Where are you going? Back up to the top again, eh? I'm glad you missed. Glad you missed. Standing by. Get to here. Roger. Let's switch it up, put both ATMs on. And I don't think we can use the medium, can we? Actually, let's do the Warlord. Oh, it's Warlord gives, that gives us the clustering bonus. Nah, let's leave that off. Just gonna fire, see what we can hit, see what we can get on this guy. Ooh, some juicy torso and arm hits. Target's taking a critical hit. We took an arm hit. We can't lose that arm. Huh. That's interesting. That's the... right arm. So let's turn this way. So if that guy does move, it's not facing like him or anything. Uh, yeah. See ya! Oh, that's just a torso. Orders. We'll finish it up. We will finish it up. Let's get to where that guy can't shoot us. Acknowledged. Then we'll finish up that sentinel and it'll be game over. Roger that. Inflict 
There's the knockdown. All right, let's just finish this guy up. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Should be able to just blow, like, right through his CT here. Do we want to, though? Let's see if we can take his legs. Let's go after the legs. Affirmative. Don't know if that was a leg hit or not, but whatever. Commander? Affirmative. Just stay back here, man. 17. 24. See if we can connect to this leg using... What do we got left, Sam? Okay. That's fine. All right, couple points. Critical hit, Commander. Standing by. I don't mind if that guy shoots for Rose. She's got a lot of armor on the front. She can absorb the uh, the hit from this guy. Engaging target. I would rather her draw the fire from that guy. No love on that strike. Reporting. On my way. Nice positioning. I'm gonna kill this guy, I think. Oh, good, good leg hits. Solid connection, that one. Commander. On I'm surprised way. this guy hasn't bailed out yet. Taking some good hard hits. See ya. Yeah, not much we can do about that. We don't quite have the accuracy. Receiving you. Now the question is, is do I? I'm just gonna reserve. I'm gonna give this guy the first shot. Then we're gonna freaking mess him up. Well, that's bizarre. I couldn't see him. Light damage, holding firm. You can sure as hell see Thermal me, though. I guess, eh? Damage. He hit two of us too. All right, let's get on this guy. Finish this up, man. I want to go home. All right. He's taken half decent damage so far, so we should be able to get him this turn. Commander. Should be able to get him this turn. Commander. Walk it over way. here. Hope that PPC hits. This guy's hit enough with the Gauss rifle. Oh, that's a nice juicy. That's just a nice juicy shot. Target confirmed. PPC hit. I think it was a leg hit though. Target's taking a critical hit. Waiting for orders. Don't you move out of there, because if this guy does get to shoot, it could be a bad time for you. He's just unsettled, is he? Well, if he was unsettled, he's not going to be uh, very happy with this. Enjoy it, buddy. See ya. There it is, folks. Yeah, I just pummel him into the ground. All right, there it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, let's see what we get out of this. Took a little bit of damage off this this battle, but not so bad. I mean, that was a leg. Yeah, we can repair that simple enough. This one was just... Did we lose anything off the armor of this guy? I don't think so. And then our our um, cougar got hammered again. LR, we got an LRM-15 to replace this. We don't have any Delft Deadfire or, LR, or LK ammo to replace that with, but we'll just replace it with regular ammo, and that should be fine, I guess. All right. Okay, so yeah, we do have a bandit. We do have bandit parts and Clint parts. 
Sentinel. Yeah, we got three L parts. But this, these are what we want here. Ooh, I can take an extra Stormcrow part. But you know what? I'm going to grab a Bandit part. Because I know we can get the Stormcrow into... Because we got a Stormcrow part. I know for a fact we do. I don't think it's an A, but I know we have a part. And then hopefully we can get some more of those. But if we can get another Bandit part, that would be great. And as much as I want stuff from down here, we're, I just can't. I can't take it. It's too bad there's such low salvage on this one, but it is what it is. Nothing amazing down here, though, that I can see anyway. Yeah. Well, let's see what we get. Okay. We only got the one bandit part. We got another Clint part. Griffin part. Alright, so not so great. That can go. That can go. Uh, the hands, we've got two. We'll keep that. Oh, the lower arms. Cool. We needed that for sure. That can go for a hundred grand. ATM ammo, beautiful. LRM ammo. Um, let's hold on to that for now. We seem to be going through that pretty quickly. Uh, Narc Beacon ammo can go. Ultra 5 ammo, we got two now. We do have an Ultra 5 that we can put into play. So that's a possibility. So, I mean, the roll was pretty shitty on this, but we do have a couple of things that we did want. Alright, so before we go, let's quickly jump into the mech bay here. And I don't, I'm pretty sure we only had the one bandit part. Uh, I'm going to check storage real quick. We'll get these mechs fixed up afterwards, but... Alright, so bandits... Yeah, we got the... Oh, we had the Stormcrow Eye. Pair of LRM-15 launchers with an ER large and an ER medium. I think this loadout was better. So I'm going to ready this one. Let's confirm that. Quirk stable. Good thing it's not unstable. And I don't think we have enough bandit parts. No, we don't. Um, now nah, we've only got two. But that's nice. It's an ATM 9 version. So once we get another bandit part, like look at the armor in that thing. It's crazy. And it's got movement of 914. That's insane. So I'm looking forward to putting that thing into battle. We can take out the Hunter and put this guy into play. Because that'll definitely be an upgrade for sure. For sure. I don't know what kind of ammo it's got on it, but we'll see. Alright, now you, I, I mean I've got a bunch of the... Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead before we finish this off. Let's just go ahead. Ready the centu Centurion. See what we can get off this guy, because we're just going to scrap it. That Nick you asked for is cleared for fighting. Wow. Single AC-20. I'm going to leave the Talos for now. I don't know if I'm going to be using that or not, but... Um, and... I'm going to leave the Kit Fox for now. So, the Centurion... Uh, let's have a look at this guy real quick. It looks like he's got a lot of stuff still attached. At least he's not completely blown apart. Yeah, nothing. He's got nothing. And that's a scrapper. Like I said, this is just going to be a Clan Mac only playthrough, so... This kind of stuff is off limits. Alright, you're goodbye. Gonna put you in the, uh... Hang on a minute. Dun, 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 dun. I thought I had... Oh well. I thought I had uh, more Centurion parts that I scrapped, but I don't. Those are the only ones I had, so we got a full Centurion. I had to write that down. Uh, let's refit this guy. Look at this thing. Not looking so good, buddy. Don't got much left. Well, you had two tons of LRM ammo. That's impressive. So... The two streak sixes, four medium pulses, and an LRM twenty. That's pretty and darn impressive. And a three thirty core too. That's like really impressive. But it's a fifty five tonner, so what do you expect, right? Uh, max the armor. What's that going to cost us? Four oh four. 
And let's drop the Clan Pharaoh back in. 555. Anything else we need to add? We, we maintain the Clan uh, Double Heatsink Kit, which is perfect. Um, yeah, I think that's it. This thing is going to be a nice, like, a nice addition. I just got to figure out where it's going to go. Like, what we're going to do with it. It's got to be a heavy hitter. What's our speed? This thing's fast too, right? 6.9 is pretty quick. I mean, maybe we do this instead. And put it right at the front. Protective padding, crit resistance to the CT. And then what will we arm it with though? We've only got, what, 15, little over 15 tons left? Like maybe this is an Ultra 10 build. No, because that would be the only thing we could get on here then. I mean, we could just, f we could fill it with lasers. Or <laughs> we could just fill it with rocket packs. <laughs> Heavy rocket launcher 20s, put a p couple of those guys in. But we're better off with ATMs. Oh, these are only two tons too, though. I don't know. Streak 4s. LRM-15s. We got MRM, We got an MRM-30. I don't think we really have the ammo for that, though. We do, we do have in, Inferno ammo and regular ammo. Like, we could go with an MRM-30. And, ah, uh, man, once we get the ammo in here, though. Uh, where we got here? Incendiary and regular ammo. That's 12 turns of 13, well, yeah, 12 turns of firing. Plus a little bit. Go with an MRM-30. And then what? Huh. <laughs> There's a brawler for you. And something that can't manage heat either. Maybe this is the platform we, we put the large improved, like the large heavy laser on. We've got two of them too, like we can't. Like if we do, I'm just, I'm just, without a, without a uh, exchanger, this is like a waste of time. But if we do that, and then we go, I'm just going to do this briefly just to, just to see. We could do that. We could buy a triple, like a plus three slot for the center. Because we can put another four heat sinks in, which is 24 more heat. Yeah, we'd never be able to sink this thing. If we had a prototype double heat sink kit, we could probably do it, but we don't. So, I mean, we could go with one. And then maybe like, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. I'm not going to get this thing. Re I'm not going to get this thing upgraded right now, but we'll definitely figure this out later. Uh, although I'm going to pull the spall line around. We'll just get it repaired without anything in the CT for now. Just upgrade all the armor and get this thing on the go. Get this thing on the go. Excellent. And I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna store the um, I'm gonna store the Grendel for now. I think. On it. Like I really I want the classical it. Omni playthrough. Maybe it's the Griffin we remove and replace this one. Cause then it's all classic Omni mechs. Although I think I would go this route and give this one a blade. Got to think about that. So let's put the Grendel in storage for now. Like I know this is an Omni, but still, I, I don't. Like it's not. It looks like shit. Like I'm sorry, I can't. I can't even like. I would have such a hard time with this thing on the battlefield. It's got tons of jump jets too. I mean, I don't know. Ah, uh, it might be a great idea for an Ultra Five build. Right? A long range Ultra 5 build? Maybe it's a situational mech. No, because we get we have less than 10 tons. 
Ultra 5 is how much? 9. We can't even get... Like, we can't even get it in as a build. We can't even get any ammo in here. And I can't lower the weight anymore. There's no way to lower the weight. So, I mean, Ultra 2, but we don't have any ammo for it. And even then, like, who the hell wants to put a 40... Like, uh, Ultra 2 in a 45-ton mech? Anyway, I'm going to store this one, I think. I'm just going to store this one, and then... Um, Maybe we'll bring it forward later, but right now I don't think I'm gonna. I just want to stick with the regular, uh, the regular clan omnis for now, and we'll see how it goes. I think the Griffin's gonna get pulled out as well, because it is a two C. It was bef that's a this is like I think a version before these guys were uh, implemented, right? If I'm not mistaken, and we go with these six. Because we got a, we, I mean, the Talos is at least on a clan mech, but we could bring a Talos forward if we had to, and then we could bring, also bring forward the. Um, we have another Kit Fox we could bring forward if we wanted to. So, anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.